Hey, pen people. I am really excited about today's video because this is a really cool ink that I recently rediscovered. I had an old sample of this lying around. I used it once upon a time, didn't really care for it, and so I put it back and I recently got it out again, and wow, <laughs> I've really changed my mind on this ink. This is a really fun ink. It's not without its problems, but it's really fun. So we're going to talk about Organic Studios Nitrogen Fountain Pen Ink. And it's a high sheening fountain pen ink that really creates some cool results on the page. So we'll talk about that in a minute. The pen I used is my Diplomat Magnum Demo Orange. And this is a pen that maybe I also kind of wrote off a little bit at first. I got it because mostly because I wanted to review it. Um, and had some issues with it at first, but it was pretty easy to resolve. And I have since really, really liked this pen. Like, this is my number one go-to everyday carry pen right now. I just, I just really like this pen. It's so nice, the soft nib. It just, it's very reliable and just easy to use. And yeah, it's, it's been fun. Anyway, we're not here to talk about pens today. We're here to talk about pen ink. So. Let's start with our little writing sample quote. This comes from Tom C. Hunley. This is an excerpt from a poem he wrote. And it says, Sometimes, God, I stumble like a foal, a fool, a fawn, a phony. I fail, I fall, I who taught by tall example my children to walk. So I'm not going to try to really pull any kind of message or, or meaning out of that. I really just kind of like it for its music. I love the alliteration, the, the F alliteration. That's kind of a, a different alliteration that I sometimes go to in my writing. So it's just fun. It's a fun, rhythmic, musical excerpt from this poem. And I actually know Tom. I know him as Dr. Hunley. He was my poetry mentor during grad school. So I took a poetry class from him and a, and a bunch of other classes too. So I got to work with him and he got to take a look at my writing and it was really cool. So anyway, this I'm guessing has been published in a number of places, but I read it in his book, What Feels Like Love. It's his new and selected poems that came out a year or so ago. And so this takes big chunks from all of his other poetry books and puts them into this one. So a, a selected poems is kind of like a poet's greatest hits kind of thing. So. There's a lot of cool stuff, and because it pulls from all these different books, there's all kinds of stuff in it. There's um, some that are much more personal and poignant and emotional, and some that are much more whimsical and funny. Um, he has a bunch of poems based on Simpsons characters. He has a bunch of poems that think about hypothetical ways he could die, <laughs> and just kind of goofy stuff like that, along with very real emotion as well. So it's a good book. If you're into poetry, I highly recommend it. Maybe even if you're not into poetry, I don't know. Anyway, so let's talk more about this ink, um, Organic Studios Nitrogen. So I did a bunch of comparison swabs and samples here, and I was going for a couple of things. As you can see, there are, there are a lot of different colors here. So I was going for comparing color and also qualities, other qualities other than color. So we have here Organic Studio Nitrogen. And like I said, this is a high sheening ink. So it's it's honestly a really tough ink to pin down as far as color goes because it has a lot of blue in it, but the sheen that comes out is very red. And so sometimes the ink can look purple. So it's somewhere between purple and blue that's why I have some other purple inks on here. And when I do comparisons, it's a little different than some pen and ink YouTubers. Um, I just don't have as many inks as a lot of them have. So I can't compare a lot of inks that look almost exactly the same. Um, so while I am going for some comparison, I'm also going for contrast, just something to give you a better idea of what this ink looks like because it's so hard to get the nuances of color across on a screen. Anyway, so we have Private Reserve Tanzanite here, um, kind of a purple, Robert Oster Deep Purple. Um, that one is kind of similar. Um, 
but definitely more of a warmer tone, whereas this is a cooler, bluer tone. Okay, now, this is Diamine Noel. I put this on here because I'm pretty sure it's also a sheening ink. I remember writing with this a couple months ago and being like, whoa, this is so cool, this is fun, this is kind of shiny, it's got this shimmery effect to it. Um, really cool. But it's not coming through here. <laughs> At least not, not a lot. Um, so I don't know if I was mistaken or if it's just the fact that I use a dip pen for these, which is inkier. I wonder if that makes it harder for the sheen to come out. So I don't have a lot of sheening inks, so I didn't have another one to compare it to, but I did put a shimmering ink, one that actually has little glitter particulates in it. So it gets not the same effect, but a similar effect, but through a different medium. So I'm gonna move, around, move this around a little bit, see if you can see. Yeah, you can see how that bottom one, Diamine Night Sky, sorry, I forgot to name that one. So you can see how that one shines. And it might be a little bit harder to pick up, but I'm gonna to try to help you see what this nitrogen ink is doing as well. You can see, especially on the deeper part, how a lot of the ink has pooled and is giving it this metallic redness. And actually, so you can see that better, I took a piece of Tomoe River. I don't know a ton about different kinds of papers and the pros and cons of them. I just know what I like. Um, but I have this Tomoe River paper, and I've heard that it's good for sh like shading and sheen and all that kind of stuff. And I did this ink splattery stuff, so you can really get an idea for what this ink does. It's nuts. <laughs> I, yeah, I could just stare at this ink all day long. It's so much fun. And this actually gives a really good idea for color because you can see here, some of it is actually very bright, true blue. Um, and then some of it looks a little more purpley and then some of it is that metallic red. So there's just so much happening here with this color. So yeah, it's it's very, very fun for that. Let's talk about some pros and cons here. So the first pro, obviously, is the sheen. This fountain pen ink has so much sheen um, and it's so much fun for that. It's fun to like fill uh, a spread in your journal and just see it glimmer as you shift it around. It's really cool. It, it's just also, like I, like I said here, it's just, it's different, it's unique, it's fun. Um, so it's, it's entertaining to use and it's just so refreshing to try something so different from most fountain pen inks out there. But this ink isn't just all fun and games. There are some issues and they're not necessarily deal breakers, especially for the cool benefits of these interesting color properties, but you should be aware of some things before you go ahead and pull the trigger on this ink. So first thing. Um, as soon as you uncap your pen, your nib is going to start drying out. Um, and you may have some hearts, hard starting, um, like I mentioned here. So let me just see if I can show you here. Well, starting right away there. <laughs> I'll leave it uncapped for a second, because usually with inks, you're good to leave it uncapped for, I mean, you don't want to leave it uncapped for a long time, but if you are pausing in the middle of a sentence to think about what word you want to use or whatever, you'll probably be fine. But with this ink, I usually have skipping and hard starts if I pause hardly at all. Um, yeah, you can see how it skipped a beat there. So if that's going to just drive you insane, then I would avoid this ink. But if you can deal with it, um, then the, the trade-offs are great because you get this really gorgeous ink. Okay, so um, it is a bit on the drier side, I think, but oddly enough, I think it's kind of got a long dry time. So it's weird. It feels dry in the pen, it dries out in the nib really quickly, but it takes a minute for it to dry on the page, which is kind of odd. So yeah, I don't know. Um, like, I don't know if this is going to be the best ink for left-handed writers or for quick notes or whatever. I posted a picture of this ink on Instagram 
And someone mentioned that this ink is kind of a stainer. It can stain your fountain pen. I don't know, I haven't used it enough, but I'm willing to trust them and to be careful, you know? Maybe I wouldn't use this in some kind of a piston demonstrator, like a Twisby Eco or something like that, that would be very obvious if it got stained. And maybe don't leave it sitting in an expensive pen for a long time, just in case. Probably nothing's gonna happen, but you never know. You wanna be safe, you wanna keep your pen safe. Okay, the last thing, as far as cons go, is that this ink is kind of a smudger. I've noticed, as I've been using this in my journal, I'll look back to things I wrote a day or two earlier, and I'm like, whoa, where'd that fingerprint come from? Where did this little patch of color come from? Anyway, so, I don't know. Yeah, you can see how it kind of smears a little bit there, but also it just, uh, in general, it just kind of smudges. It's got maybe just an ever so slight leftover stickiness that just likes to stick to things. Um, let's see, what else? So we talked about dry time, uh, water resistance, uh, pretty much next to nothing. There is a faint line there, so if you had something important written down and you got water all over it, chances are you'd still be able to read it mostly, I think. But just keep in mind, this is not hardly water resistant at all. So is this an ink I would buy for myself after having a sample of it? That is a hard question for me to answer. I think this ink is super fun. I think that for letter writing, or birthday cards, or maybe some you know art applications where you want some interesting colors. I think that there's there are plenty of ways that you can use this ink and get great enjoyment out of it. But for my purposes, as a writer, as a journaler, it's not the most practical ink for me because of the hard starting and skipping, and then also the smudging issues as well. So it's one that I think I would enjoy getting out every once in a while, just for a change of pace and to get some really eye-popping color on there, but it's not one that I would use necessarily in an everyday carry pen or just as a daily writer in my journal, that kind of thing. In other words, it's very fun, but you have to make sure you're okay with some of the downsides and maybe it's not an ink for just everyday practical kind of use. So that's my take on Organic Studios Nitrogen Fountain Pen Ink. If you've used this ink, I'd be really curious to know what you think of it. And um, if you have any other recommendations for sheening inks, because I don't have many, um, that would be great too. Let me know in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.